It's the first day of spring, the season that historically symbolizes rebirth. At the Defense Fuel Supply Point in San Pedro, California, a small group gathered to celebrate a very special rebirth, the release of the rare Palos Verdes blue butterfly. There's the female. You can see the much darker wings. Today is all about recovery. It's about a scrapper who was down and out, thought extinct for 11 years, and we're putting it back. The butterflies, which were discovered on this military installation in 1994, were hand-reared at America's Teaching Zoo by students from Moore Park College as part of the Butterfly Project, a captive rearing program for endangered species which began as a partnership between college biologists and the staff and students of the zoo and the Urban Wildlands Group. DSC got involved with the Butterfly Program because the butterfly actually lives here on this DFSP. The Defense Logistics Agency has been uh, helping care and provide uh, an upkeep um, the captive breeding program here. Federal agencies like the Defense Energy Support Center, which is part of the Defense Logistics Agency, are required by law to protect endangered species and their natural habitats. DLA worked with other federal and state organizations to provide additional funding and logistical support for this project. It's just been an amazing collaborative effort. You have DLA, DESC, the Navy, who owns the land, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy restoring the land, the Urban Wildlands Group who oversees both myself and the field surveys. The Fish and Wildlife Service, particularly in this instance, has been working very closely with the Defense Department in recovering the endangered butterfly. And our mission is the preservation of open space and the restoration of habitat on the Palos Verdes Peninsula. We are having a wonderful time growing the host plants for these butterflies and outplanting them into the peninsula, and we hope to see additional releases at other preserves in the future. It's kind of exciting to be here and be able to be at this stage where we're we're really starting to, you know, move the the butterfly off the base so that we can have that security of of uh, having other populations. This is the most incredible. Uh, team effort I've ever been a part of. It's just this great conglomeration of all these different people working together to save this little tiny butterfly. For now, the Palos Verdes blue butterfly remains on the endangered species list. Dr. Johnson hopes to get enough stable populations in as many different places in its historic range as possible so that someday it will no longer be at risk. This is what feeds the soul. When you get to put them back and see them fly, it's amazing.